You know we love us some Postmates, whether they're bringing us food or giving us the receipts on what Kendall Jenner spent 10 grand on in the past year, we're always happy to see them. But this story shows the darker side of Postmates, the Postmates filled with fear and death threats. What's up y'all, it's Emil Ennis Jr. here with Clever News and this dark tale of deception involves Lizzo, a Boston hotel room, and of course, like all dark tales, Twitter. So last week, Lizzo was in Boston for part of her Cuz I Love You 2 tour. While she was in Boston, she sang her heart out, gave herself a big smooch in the mirror, and twerked a hell of a lot. But that poor connection might have gotten her into a little bit of trouble. Because when she went to order Postmates, she apparently never got her order. In a now deleted tweet, she said, hey Postmates, this girl you stole my food. She lucky I don't fight no more. And right from that moment, lines were drawn and sides were taken. It was Lizzo versus and in the end, nobody won. So people who were team told Lizzo that she shouldn't be doxing the Postmates driver by tweeting out her name and photo. One guy said, I get this is frustrating Lizzo, but the solution shouldn't be to use your followers to attack someone and probably get them fired. It's really not worth all that when she's just trying to make a living. Maybe she gave the food to the wrong person, happens all the time. Lizzo, still pretty hangry, responded to him and said, nah, the front desk told me she walked in, clocked it as delivered, then walked out with food in hand. Her phone never rang, Postmates couldn't contact her either, she clearly knew what she was doing and I just don't want someone else to get their shit stole too. But the woman who is supposed to deliver Lizzo's food is speaking out, or at least somebody close to her is, telling TMZ that she did try to deliver the order to Lizzo at the Boston Hotel, but she couldn't reach the singer. They said that there was no hotel room number provided for the order, so the concierge was unable to help. They also said that the driver waited 10 minutes in the lobby and never heard back from the starving artist. According to Postmates protocol, delivery drivers only have to wait five minutes before moving moving on to the next call. And don't worry about her job, Postmates themselves did confirm that Tiffany did exactly what she was supposed to do in the situation. Plus, to add salt to the wound, the driver revealed that she was delivering seafood to Lizzo and that she doesn't eat seafood, which tracks considering Boston is known for their seafood. So while Lizzo sat alone in her hotel room waiting on her lobster roll, more and more people came to the defense of the Postmates driver. Someone said, I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% that snitch. Another said, cool, cool. Doxing a minimum wage worker when you make millions? Awesome, love to see it. So Lizzo ended up deleting her tweets and posting another one where she said, I apologize for putting that girl on blast. I understand I have a large following and that there are so many variables that could have put her in danger. I'ma really be more responsible with my use of social media and check my petty and pride at the door. She also retweeted something from Kalani about having a positive relationship with Twitter and said, Twitter's not my friend today. I'ma have to log the f off. But the damage was already done. One of the driver's supposed friends came to her defense against Lizzo and her army of 1 million followers. She said, my friend did not steal Lizzo's food. Maybe she should pay attention to her Postmates app to see when the driver is arriving. Bashing someone over a lobster roll ain't gonna get you nowhere, sis. I don't care how famous she is. And apparently the driver has been fearful for her life since the incident. TMZ said that the driver has had the worst week of her life and quote, is afraid to leave her home and even go to work for fear someone might harm her, or even worse, she's humiliated and terrified. Now sources are saying that the driver is planning on filing a lawsuit against Lizzo. We'll see how far that goes though, but if I had to guess, the whole thing will be settled out of court. So it's been a big week for Lizzo. On top of her tour continuing, she also just beat the record of having the longest running number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 chart by a female rapper. Truth Hurts officially beat out Cardi B's Bodak Yellow from 2017. But don't worry, Cardi B has no hard feelings. On that video of Lizzo kissing herself in the mirror while waiting on that lobster roll in Boston, Cardi commented, kiss me. So hopefully they're celebrating with as many lobster rolls as Lizzo and her team can manage, but um, maybe this time they go pick them up instead. But I wanna know what you guys think. Did Lizzo go too far with her tweet or was she justified tweeting at Postmates about the issue? Let me know in the comment section below. Then make sure to subscribe to Clever News so you can stay up to date on all the top news stories. You know, like if Lizzo be eating or not, just like her Insta handle. Anyway, moving on guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. Click right over here to watch another news story and I'll see you soon.